the key decision metrics for choosing your CRM software? The actual things that you should be thinking about, and it's just a matter of literally putting these down on a spreadsheet and then rating each solution you're considering. One would be integrations. Uh, and that is, what other applications does it talk to? If it's an all-in-one, okay, well, you know, maybe the email marketing is crap. So does it talk to email marketing software? Does it connect to a tool like Zapier? Where you can actually connect your different um, tools to uh, each other using, uh, using a simple solution. Um, what else does it integrate with? Does it actually talk to your billing software? Are you using Xero.com and is it gonna automatically send your invoices over to Xero.com? Integrations is the first one that I always look at um, and we wanna choose something that we can build an ecosystem of different apps together for anything that this CRM system doesn't do itself. Next up is price and value. This one's pretty straightforward. Some solutions are really aimed at enterprise. If you are a small business and you have less than, I'd say, 100 employees, stay the F away from salesforce.com. It's hundreds of thousands of dollars to implement and maintain. And every business that I've seen implement it just does not need it. And I mean, I'm talking about small and medium sized businesses here, larger organizations when you're in scale mode, very different story. Um, but choose something that's right for your business, not just for where you are now, but certainly for where you wanna go. Uh, but that doesn't mean if you're a five person team to do a $100,000 Salesforce rollout, just don't do it. Next up is expandability. Um, and that's really about as your business grows, uh, is this system and solution gonna grow with you? Where are you gonna look like in terms of the business in three years or five years? Because the absolute worst thing for you to do is pull a system out um, and have to replace it with something else. Um, and part of this for me is really about uh, backing the right horse. When I evaluate a tool or a technology system, I don't just wanna look at the features of the tool, uh, I really wanna also look at, well, who's behind the company? Where are they based? How much venture capital do they have? How are they sitting in the market compared to other people? Are they gonna be successful in three to five years? Do I know the executive team or do I have contacts to them who I can choose whether or not I think this is a good solution? Now, for me personally, no, I not only have to make choices for IT Genius, but for the thousands of customers who run small businesses that we serve. And so when we look at recommending a solution, we put hours and hours and hours of research into making sure that we make a really, really great choice because we have to train up our team. And so we know our way around pretty much every CRM system that is out there. Um, and hence, we're able to consult to businesses on making the right choice. So next up is access and usability. Uh, it should go without saying um, that, you know, having a good mobile app and being able to, if you are someone who happens to work on the road, uh, but having good usability, there's nothing worse than an IT system that is hard to use uh, because my God, your team will not use it if it's a pain in the butt to use. Um, and so uh, making sure that you are um, you know, aware of what the day-to-day -day use is gonna be like uh, is a real big one. And uh, that's why we do a test drive of Copper CRM. Um, so our customers can actually test it and implement it and play with it and use it themselves. And we build out demo workflows um, so that you get an idea of exactly what it's gonna be like uh, before you pull the trigger and move ahead with it. Uh, next up is the implementation and maintenance. Um, and so is it, I mean, I, hopefully no one's rolling out CRM systems that get installed on servers anymore, although I have heard of it from time to time. Um, but you know, what is gonna be the path to implementation? And I would recommend, of course, working with some kind of consultant or partner, um, if it makes sense, rather than you just doing it all yourself. So there's three kind of like tiers of CRM systems, and this will give you a bit of an idea of uh, where they are in the market um, and what the kind of different, um, uh, you know, the levels are of your, um, of your different CRM systems. Um, to give you a, a bit of an idea of things like costing and level of sophistication uh, with your different CRM solutions. Um, and so we call these the three tiers. So the first tier is our basic tier. These are uh, solutions that are, you know, really just focused on, you know, deal management, the most basic workflow management. They don't have accounting systems built in. They don't have sophisticated email, you know, tools built in. They may just have um, basic reporting. Uh, Pipedrive is getting uh, much better these days. It's probably more in the intermediate uh, zone. Certainly uh, Streak, Podio, and a number of others are really just about delivering the basics. I put Google Sheets in here on the slide as well because some people just use a spreadsheet for their CRM system. That's, uh, that's kind of included in there as well. Next up, we have our intermediate. Uh, here are solutions that don't just do one function, they'll do multiple functions. So they might do workflow or pipeline management plus email marketing, or they might do 
in the case of Zoho, um, you have things like email marketing and you have, uh, you know, there's other productivity services in there and you have the ability to build apps on the Zoho platform for workflow management. Something like Infusionsoft will do lots of emails, uh, but it will also do checkouts and online sales as well. Um, ActiveCampaign does pipeline management and it also does um, emails as well. Um, HubSpot does landing pages, it does checkouts, it does plenty more as well. Now, for these, they start to get a little bit more sophisticated in pricing. I'd probably put HubSpot at the top in terms of pricing in this group intermediate because uh, it's a little bit more expensive than other solutions. Zoho is a road that I don't often recommend customers going down because the customization is great, but a little bit like salesforce.com, uh, you end up paying consultants to actually build things out and then you're very deeply locked into the system. Um, although if you're someone who wants a lot of customization, that might be a way for you to go. Fusionsoft I really love, uh, but the usability is not fantastic and the deal management absolutely sucks. I can say that as after being a customer for many years. Our automation's great and most of the system in terms of uh, you know sending sophisticated email campaigns out is excellent. Um, but don't try and use it if you've got a sales team. I, I would not recommend it at all. A final area, uh, we have enterprise. And this is really for businesses that are in scale mode. You've got the resources and the budget to really implement something sophisticated that's gonna stay with the business 10 years or more. Now, um, uh, solutions like uh, Oracle, Salesforce, I would put NetSuite in here as well. That is uh, basically going to include your accounting ledger. So you don't need a third party solution for your accounting, all of your, uh, your P&L will literally be inside the CRM system because all your orders and everything else will be in there. This is, I mean, technically these are all in one systems because they run the whole business, but they're not industry specific. And so they require a high level of customization and a high level of input. Honestly, for any business less than 50 employees, I'd stay the hell away from them um, because it just gets way too expensive, way too quickly. They just get, uh, uh, yeah, bigger than, uh, bigger than Ben-Hur. So I've had some questions that have come through uh, which I wanted to uh, cover. Uh, how do I rate Entreport? Um, I think Entreport is kind of on par with Infusionsoft. Not great on the deal management side of things, uh, but in terms of overall, overall emails, it's pretty good. Um, overall, um, you know, automated campaigns, it's pretty good as well. Price-wise, um, it's priced effectively for small businesses. Um, and they've now brought out a visual campaign builder and some other great tools, uh, which make it a pretty great tool. We have a lot of customers who have Entreport, which we build dashboards for uh, in Google Data Studio. And so we can actually pull data out of Entreport and uh, publish that inside Google Data Studio to get insights from your data. Um, someone has also asked about fresh sales and the fresh suite. Um, yeah, th there's an interesting trend that I've seen with a few um, you know, business solutions starting to branch out into other areas. Uh, one of those is teamwork.com, which was a task management tool like Asana, but I mean, personally, I always found it just that little bit more cumbersome, um, uh, you know, as Asana requires a few less button clicks, um, less sophisticated, um, but, um, but you know, I preferred the experience of Asana. And Teamwork then went and built out chat and they went and built out a ticketing system as well. Uh, Freshdesk started as a ticketing system or a customer service system, um, and they've now built um, a CRM function into that. I don't know heaps about that personally, so I don't have much of an opinion. Uh, but what I would say is in general, if you have a software solution that has started building out other apps um, to really know, well, what is their core competency? For Freshdesk, it's really the core competency is around customer service delivery and ticketing. So if you're in a service-based business or if you're in a business with a high level of customer service required, then that would make sense to roll out that system. Um, but if you're looking for something uh, you know, just for sales or for really sophisticated email marketing because you're an e-commerce business, might not be the solution for you. Uh, but great questions and I appreciate you guys sharing that with me. So some of the reasons why we love and we recommend Copper CRM to most small businesses that we consult to, um, of course, have a chat to our team if you're interested in this um, so we can get you access to discounts and other advantages of purchasing it through us. Um, we've got um, basically the key focus of Copper is that they are uh, designed and focused on being the deepest integration with G Suite or what was G Suite, now Google Workspace possible. Um, basically, they set out to create the CRM for Google Workspace um, and they've deeply, deeply integrated the whole system uh, into the Workspace platform, which is excellent. Uh, so what that means is it automatically uh, pulls in all the data from your emails, um, or you, so you don't need to do any manual notes or anything like that. 
um, it's automatically going to bring it right into your CRM system. So there's no manual data entry. Uh, you can see here that it lives inside of Gmail in the little widget on the, um, on the side here. Um, and not only that, it's also got an amazing deal flow system as well, uh, where you're going to be able to have accurate reporting on pipelines um, and managing and monitoring all of your deals as they're going through. Now, we're gonna have more content coming up in Copper uh, in the near future. Uh, one of the things that I love about Copper, which I've mentioned in other videos, is that it actually uses AI and automations to automatically pull in data on your prospects. And so if you've got a prospect in your CRM, it's automatically gonna bring in their LinkedIn profile. And so with one click, you can connect with them on LinkedIn. And you know, just before a sales call, best thing you can do, open up someone's LinkedIn profile and actually have a, uh, you know, have a little bit of a peruse there just before you have a conversation with them. Now, not only that, but Copper also includes uh, ex absolutely excellent reporting uh, on your lead sources, uh, right down to the activity of your sales reps. Um, it even shows you, um, you know, all of your reporting on the, you know, return on investment and your conversion ratios and how you're converting your leads into opportunities. Um, it's just an absolutely amazing, amazing tool for visibility right across the business. If you are running a sales team um, or any kind of team that is doing deep relationship-based customer service or partner management, um, it's an absolutely phenomenal tool. And it also integrates with other Google tools like Google Sheets um, and also with Google Data Studio as well. Um, and so what that means is that you can actually take any data from within Copper and visualize that into a dashboard on Data Studio. You might not be able to see it right now, but on my TV, I've actually got a live dashboard um, with things like sales statistics and deals closed and how much we got in the pipeline and what we closed last month versus this month. Um, and so all of that is absolutely automated. If you're interested in that, jump on one of the links below and have a chat to our team. We've got access to exclusive discounts and we've even got a test drive service where you can get your hands on Copper CRM and we'll do an audit of all of your business needs and see how we may be able to assist you making a great decision on your business software. So I wanna say big thanks for joining this video, learning about CRMs today. If you are a small or medium sized business owner, I'd recommend you head along to our YouTube channel and check out our playlists for the different stages of technology adoption based on where you are at in your business right now. Basically, we wanna help all small businesses, whether you're a one-man band, right up to large organizations who are scaling and growing quickly to make sure your technology strategy is in place and it's gonna help support the growth of your business. Now we've got playlists set up on YouTube for each stage of business that you're at so you can get the best of those technology strategies. And if you're interested, we have an exclusive transfer in offer for small businesses who are using Google Workspace. And what you get access to is a Google Classroom with professional training on everything to do with Google Workspace. Not only do you learn how to use all the different applications and you can share this with all of your team as well, there's also certifications there. And so the aim for this is really for you to use this for your team and for your business, for you to make sure that everybody is competent with the tools that you're already invested in. Now, if you're interested in running a remote team, scaling a remote business, we've got all of our videos on how to grow and scale your business in a COVID world up there inside the Google Classroom, available for free. We used to give those only to our customers, uh, but we've decided to make those available for free for everyone. So get you, get on there, get your team on there as well uh, and get access to all of the benefits. Now, what do you need to do? Um, head along to the link here. Um, there is also a link below this video and that will give you access to our classroom lessons. You get access to our team. The important thing is that it doesn't cost you anything extra. If you're currently paying Google directly for your workspace account, you just switch your billing to us and you don't pay any extra. We buy it at wholesale, so we just charge the same rate that Google does. And then from there, you get access to all the extra benefits of working with IT Genius as a thank you for being a customer of ours. So if you haven't already gone there, uh, please head along. And if you have anything that you'd like to chat to our team about, you can connect with us directly via our chat and our team will be more than happy to help you out with anything that you need in the Google world. Uh, thank you so much, guys. We will catch you in the next one. Make sure you've got notifications on. If you wanna get in touch with our team, jump on the link below. If you've not yet transferred your billing to IT Genius, Great time to do that, uh, get access to the classroom. We're uploading new videos in there every couple of weeks um, and it's really being fleshed out to be awesome. We did last year an eight week series on running your business remote, basically going completely open book on six years of completely remote um, management of our business. Um, we now have 55 odd um, employees across the group. 
Um, and so, uh, yeah, basically we want to, um, you know, share with you guys how we actually run the business, uh, how we've been successful. We don't, can't promise you'll be successful. We're just sharing what we know and what works for us. Um, and uh, yeah, all of that is inside the classroom. So if you're interested in checking that out, well, it should be. I'm sure Angel's listening. So if it's not, it will be soon. Um, but yeah, we just gave the go ahead to upload all of that exclusive content there. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out and see you later.